Monday, February the 8th, saw the Sumo Press begin their week with some injury updates. Iki Oi, we discovered, has now had an operation on the left thumb he broke two weeks ago. He won't be doing any training just yet while his metacarpal bone heals, and, for the first time in his career, it's completely uncertain whether he will show for the upcoming tournament. If he does compete, it will be in Division 3. His coach, Iseno Umi, says that only once he's on the mend can this new prudent Ikioi even discuss fighting in March. We do wish him well. Nikan Sports also reported that Tomokaze, remember him, is set to return in March after a 16-month absence. We last saw him on the second day of November 2019 when a bad stumble into the audience left him with damaged knee ligaments, exactly 41 years to the tournament day since his stable master suffered a similar injury. After several months spent rehabilitating at his high school sumo club, Tomokaze has returned to Oguruma Stable in recent days and resumed practice bouts with Division 4 colleagues. That should be more than enough for him for now, as he will rejoin competition in Division 5. According to coach Oguruma, He's been keeping himself in good nick and doesn't look that much thinner. To be honest, it's a miracle that he's back. All that toil has come to something good, I reckon. Also back in training, you'll be pleased to know, are our two Yokozuna. Coach Miyagino says that Hakuho is back doing leg sliding and weight work, while Coach Michinoku reports that Kakuryu was doing individual training even during the January tournament and continues to work on the basics. Interesting indeed that the latest meeting of the Yokozuna Council has been cancelled. The meaningless emergency declaration, now extended until March, was cited as the reason, but the council must be relieved not to have to explain its own toothlessness after even its strongest possible warnings couldn't get Kakuryu to compete. Elsewhere, although we've had no training updates because he's persona non grata, Abby's three-tournament suspension is now over, and he is set to fight in Division 3 next month. The man handed a two-tournament suspension alongside him, Gokushindo, returned to action in Division 5 last time, scoring 6-1. and one. In other news, yesterday was supposed to see the Fuji TV one-day sumo event held at the Kokugikam. Radio commercials ran until mid-January, and if you'd checked the event's website even yesterday morning, you'd have assumed it was on as planned. Nobody seemingly thought to update the page with the news that the event was cancelled on January the 18th, something barely reported in the media either. A good job I found those half-buried reports to get my refund on time. The next interstable sumo action will be in 12 days' time then, when the Kokugikan plays host to its third specially arranged group practice session. As with the other two, that will run for six days. Finally, Dai Esho has donated an entire ton of rice to his alma mater, Saitama Sakai. Add that to the 600 kilos he sent last year upon making Sekiwake, and his rice donation runs to somewhere in the region of $9,000. That's based on the price list supplied by the Sumidaya rice shop handling the orders. Saitama Sakai may not need the rice, but Sumidaya sure needs the order, and that's why I respect what Dai Esho has done. He didn't need to help, but he did, at a time when many of his countrymen are being told it's okay to look the other way. <laughs>